In an area forever scarred by an earthquake, tsunami and nuclear catastrophe, the people of Fukushima are given a rude awakening. An earthquake struck at around 11.30 at night, plunging entire sections of Japan's northeast, including Tokyo, into darkness. Others were still illuminated by emergency sirens, with warnings to evacuate echoing for miles. The 7.3 magnitude quake occurred at a depth of almost 60 kilometres off the coast of Fukushima, not far from the epicentre of the 2011 disaster, which killed 18,000 people. The earthquake last night shook stronger than the 2011 earthquake, but I had this hope the damage wouldn't be as bad. I really feel bad for the people of Fukushima. It comes just when they're starting to forget about the 2011 disaster. When I saw on TV that parts of the Pacific Ocean were highlighted to indicate a tsunami warning, I thought, not again. That warning was eventually withdrawn and power has been restored to most of the 2.2 million homes that experienced blackouts. The damage was nowhere near as severe as 11 years ago, but several prefectures did not escape unscathed. The jolt caused 16 of a bullet train's 17 carriages to jump the track. No one was hurt, but elsewhere reports of a handful of deaths began to emerge. <laughs> We pray for the souls of those who have died and extend our deepest sympathies to all those affected by the disaster. Regarding damage to the nuclear facilities, we have no abnormalities in the plant data at this time. Earlier this month, some lawmakers had urged the government to speed up the restart of nuclear power plants still shuttered due to safety concerns. This latest quake and the aftershocks that are due to follow may cause some to reconsider. Manit Sigas, ABC News.